Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Shallot. SSB Shallot. And today we'll be talking about this new what if idea, what if idea I made. It's called What if Deku was an immortal Saiyan? Hence immortal, and he will also be a Saiyan. Now for the Saiyan part, he will there will be a Saiyan. His name will be Shallot. Now Shallot is so it's the end of the tournament in Dragon Ball Legends. The game, the story mode at the end, and Shallot went through a portal to go back home. But instead, it took him to the Mahira Academia world. And he still had the knowledge of Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan Transformations 1 and 2. But when he went through the portal, he was also given knowledge of every single transformation that Goku has went through. So Shalit knows a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, and Super Saiyan 3. He does not know the GT transformation. Now, Shalit is going to be kind of confused, but then he figures out what's happened, and he's he's kind of does not like it. But he's like, yeah, it happened, it happened. So... You know, Shalit is going to be traveling across, you know, he's going to make a name for himself. He's going to become a hero. He's going to become the number one hero. This time it's not All Might. It's going to be Shalit. Shalit is going to be the number one hero. And during all this, Shalit was able to learn uh, Super Sa Shalit is able to learn Super Saiyan 3. He tapped into the power when he was fighting with All Might. He was fighting against All for One. And he fought. He tapped into Super Saiyan 3 for a bit. And helped All Might take him down. Now All Might and Shalit will be close friends. And when Shalit decides to settle down. You know. All Might you know helps him out. Becomes his wingman you know. And, he, and then Shalit meets Inko. He sees how beautiful she is. And he decides he wants to be with her. You know, spend the rest of his life. So being all kind of awkward and everything, he, he asks her out. You know, they date for like... For like two, maybe three years. And then he proposes. And he's like, will you be my mate? And she's like, you mean your wife? Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, my, my wife. And... And, uh, you know, Inko, she says yes. Deku's mom say yes. They get together. And then Deku is born. But this is going to be different. This is going to be a different saying part of Deku. When Deku was born, he was born with the quirk, immortality, and was born in the Super Saiyan transformation. Now going to be like, hey, Shala, how does this happen? Well, look. Look, this is all what if he was no moral sin. I'm trying to make him the most powerful sin known to man. So Deku was born as a super sin. Which means he was born with blonde hair. And he was born with a strong power level already. He was born with a... See, like regular Saiyan kids, you know, he has... He, if he was a regular Saiyan kid, he'd have a power level of 10. And since, you know... You know, uh... Since, you know, it's the uh, Super Saiyan is like a 20 times multiplier, I think it is. He, so Deku is going to be having two, a power level of 200, making him one of the strongest kids in the world. Or maybe in in between some of them. So Deku, it has, and Shalit's shocked. He's like, what? And then... He sees that, you know, Deku was actually born as a Super Saiyan. And he's like, he's really proud inside knowing that he made this guy. So Deku and, uh, so Inko's gonna be like, wow, look at our baby. He's so cute. So throughout his whole life, Deku is going to be trained. They don't know about his immortality yet. But, you know, but then when they found out, when Deku became three years old, five years old, you know, Shalit started training him. 
to harness Super Saiyan, and he showed him his own transformation. And I forgot to tell you, but Shaolin actually has God Key, and he's able to go Super Saiyan Blue. And he's going to teach Deku how to go Super Saiyan God and how to go Super Saiyan Blue. So Deku has already been in Super Saiyan Transformation, and then he tells Deku, okay, try to go higher. So Deku starts screaming and starts, starts powering up, and he, started, and he went Super Saiyan 2 right off the bat. He was already born in Super Saiyan, which means he already has great mastered Super Saiyan already as a child. He was born with it. And now he has Super Saiyan 2. So, you know, Shala is going to be training with Deku to death. And then, sh and then he's going to see that Deku heals and gets a massive Zenkai boost. So, at, so at a newborn baby, Deku is 200. And we're going to be seeing it 20 times, right? So, 10... And so right now he has a power level of 10,000 at five years old. Yeah, that's a lot. So you just like at five years old, he had 200, right? So times five is 10,000. I, I think. It, no, no, it's one. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's 1,000. He has a power level of 1,000 at five years old, which is not that bad. And Deku. Is going. Everybody's gonna be his friend. Bakugo is a media friend. He's gonna be the most popular guy in school. You know, everybody's gonna love him. You know, he's gonna be dating girls all the time. He's gonna be a big playboy. You know, and he's kind of rich because Shalit is the number one hero, and All Might's the number two, and Never number three. Benjin's number four. You know, so on and so on. So everybody's gonna know him as the number one hero son. SSB Shalit. His name used to be SSJ, but since he unlocked Super Saiyan Blue, he became SSB. So Deku is training, and he is now, it's now the end of high middle school, he's fifth, uh, like 14 years old. So he's 1,000 at 5, go like 9 months, 9 years later. He has a pretty strong power level. I, let me see. So, nine. So he had one thousand and five. So nine times two times one thousand. So that's nine thousand. Um, times twenty. Oof. <laughs> nine times nine is nine times eight is seventy two. So it's uh, nine times ten is ninety. And then t 90 times 10 is 90,000. And now he has a power level of 900,000, guys. Yeah, Deku is amazing. 900,000. And if he goes Super Saiyan 2, he has a power level of um, 950,000. And if he goes Super Saiyan 3, he has a power level of 1.5 mil 1 million. Because remember, he did not do the same training that Goku did that made him have, have a billion percentile of power. So, Deku is going to be trying his best. He's trying to, like, impress his father and everything. You know, he's, like, working hard. He's, he's really smart, too. He's passing all the time. Now it's, like, end of middle school and the teacher's like, okay, hey, everybody, what do you want to be? Eh... Uh, Nah, who cares? You guys just want to be heroes. And then, and his name is like, especially you, Deku. And I don't think his name would be Izuku Midoriya. I think it would be Deccan. Deccan, yes. So Deku and uh, Goku and Gohan. So it would be Deccan, because he knew those three. Those two, and uh, he thought Deku was nice, and so he did Deccan. So Deku's new name is Deccan, you know, so Deccan, he is trying, he's like, and then, you know, so he's like, we have two kids going here to UA, Kosuke Bakugo and Deccan, Deccan Midoriya, <laughs> Deccan Midoriya, <laughs> and, um, you know, Deku's be like, yeah, that's me, I'll be the next number one hero. You know, and everybody's going to be clapping and everything. And Bakugo was like, what about me? Yeah, and Bakugo here will be the number two hero. 
basically roasting Bakugo, you know, but they do this with each other all the time, you know, they're friends, right? So Deku, we haven't really, so, you know, Deku keeps getting Zenkai's because he's immortal, right? So that means Shalit can train him to death. So when Shalit, so every time Shalit, so like, you know, I'll tell you what's happening, basically. So Shalit one time trained him and broke his neck by accident. And he was uh, shocked. He like, what? No, D no, Deccan, no. And then he started raging, you know. He was like getting out of control. That he just, he found out he just killed his own son. But then Deku's neck started turning around back and then twisting back on. He's like, ow, dad, that hurt. And, De and, and, um, and, you know, uh, Shala's like, what? You're alive? And Deku's like, yeah, should I, should I be dead? And, De and, all, and Shala's like, what? Is this your quirk? I didn't think you'd get a quirk being a Saiyan and all. And, you know, Shalit explained to Deku what his Saiyan is, his heritage and everything, you know, how, you know, he's a super Saiyan and all that, all the transformations. So Deku is now, he, so Deku's like, it must be my quirk, I must be immortal. And De and Shalit's like, what, really? Here, let me see if, let me go to an eraser quirk guy. So he sees a racer head and he's like, hey, try to erase this guy's quirk. He erases it. And then Shalit punches Deku and breaks his arm. And then Deku's arm starts healing. And he's like, wait, you that must mean your arm, that must mean your quirk cannot be turned off by other quirks. So Aizawa is good friends with Shalit too. So Aizawa knows Deku. So if he ever sees him in class, he'll know who he is. The number one hero's son. So Deku goes, you know, he's like walking home from the sludge villain. And then, you know, he's like, you know, walking home. And then the sludge villain comes out of it and tries to, ch and tries to choke him. Deku immediately goes super saying God. And the pressure... Everybody across the city can feel this pressure, especially Shalit. And he knows that Deku must be in danger because he told Deku never to use Super Saiyan God unless you're in absolute danger. So Deku used it and the pressure just tore the sludge villain off of him. And Deku just walked away and he looked at the sludge villain with such a menacing look that it looks could kill. The sludge villain would be dead right now. Then Deku charged up a wild cannon, which is basically Shalit's move, and shot at the sludge instantly vaporizing him into the steam. Shalit comes, and then so does All Might, and they're like, hey, 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 Toshinori, how's life? Or should I say All Might? And All Might knows Deku too, he's like, looks like young Midoriya here already took out the villain. Hey. Midoriya, where did the villain go? Or as he said, De Deccan, where did the villain go? Uh, I killed him. And Shalit's like, why? Well, I went into God Transform. I went into my red hair color transformation. And then, you know, he and, he, you know, I couldn't control myself because I was kind of angry, you know, trying to kill me. So, and Shalit's like, oh, okay, it's okay then. You know, if he try to kill you, it's justified for you to kill him back. And that's the kind of thing that Shalit does, you know, he like, he says, it's fine if you can kill him as long as he, as long as you have a good reason for it. He has that kind of mentality. It's not that good of a mentality, but hey, it's better than like all for one or Shigaraku's mentality. Kill people because you feel like it. So Deku uh, walks back home, you know, and then for like 10 months, him and, uh, him and his dad train. And by the end of the 10 months... Mm, uh, power levels. I'm not really good with power levels. Let's say Deku is trying to learn Ultra Instinct right now. And uh, he's kind of failing. Trying to learn instantaneous movement. But Deku is going to try his best, you know, because it's that's my ninja way. <laughs> um, But yeah, no, I'm not joking. Okay, so Deku is training. And by the end of the 10 months, his power level is over 2 million. 
right now. So in his base, he's one. He's like um, two million. If he goes Super Saiyan, it's twenty twenty million. Super Saiyan two. I don't know about this. So basically, if he goes Super Saiyan Blue, he has what a power level of one billion or more than a billion, basically, you know, or maybe two billion. Which means that he is overpowered as hell, but not as strong as his dad. His dad is still in his prime and has not reached the aging state yet. So Deku is right now fifteen. He goes to the entrance exam, and that guys is will be leaving off. And see you later. Asalovisa, it's Shallot.